we are continuing to follow the story about the crowd surge at a Houston concert that left eight people dead and dozens more injured. One of the victims, 21 year old Axel Acosta, died because the weight of the crowd literally suffocated him. His father is speaking out about his death. Take a look. We're trying to make things change in this type of events. Today is me. I lost my son. It could be you, it could be you. It's not the first time that he's been in a big events. You can go to Disneyland and have fun. You can go to a baseball, baseball game and have fun because they have the right security. That poor father. Uh, he has joined one of at least uh, 18 lawsuits against rapper Travis Scott, who headlined the festival along with the organizers of the event. Now, the FBI has launched a criminal investigation, and some officials are saying that Scott should have paused the show. Here is what the Houston's fire chief told the Today Show. We all have a responsibility. Everybody in that uh, at that event has a responsibility, starting from the from the artist on down. The artist, if, if he notices something that's going on, he can certainly pause that that uh, performance, turn on the lights and said, hey, we're not gonna continue until, until this thing is resolved. A lot of finger pointing. So to talk more about this, we are joined by former prosecutor, veteran trial attorney, and of course, friend of the show, Mark Iglarsh. Mark, thank you so much for joining us again, despite these horrible circumstances. So we know there are already civil lawsuits. One of them is by the family of the nine-year-old who was nearly trampled to death. I know you're a father of three. Um, Mark, who just put on your attorney hat here, not your father hat. Maybe they're one in the same. Who do you expect will be sued? Everyone, every single possible person who possibly could have reasonably foreseen this and committed any acts of negligence will be included in the civil lawsuit. And then they'll point their fingers at each other once they're all joined in the lawsuit saying, no, you're more responsible. I'm less responsible. I'm not responsible at all. And then they'll sort out what the total amount is owed to each person and who has to pay what percent. Well, Mark, that was going to be my question. Jeff, I know you got a question. I'm just going to jump in really quickly. I know they're talking about suing Travis Scott, but I, I thought Travis Scott was just like a person that was just the the hired inner the hired help no different than the concession stand or the security or the parking detail so why would travis scott be under any uh you know legal obligation to do anything but perform and then get off stage at his contractually obligated time and may i ask if the microphone you, you he make has, an excellent it, does the microphone he you, have you add to that mark i just wanted to add to they've that they've been question. debating all morning about this mark just fyi <laughs> Okay, so you're both potentially right, okay? And I really mean that. It depends upon what the facts are. He is hired help. He's not part of the security team. He's not part of the production team. So one would argue, Al is correct, you know, he's just hired help. At the same time, if he said or did anything to encourage the crowd, to add to it, if he saw that people were being harmed, and again, we don't know what the facts are, but if he saw that people were being harmed and he continued to perform and encourage in a way that led to more injury and death, then he could be responsible. For sure, he's going to be on the lawsuits because he's got deep pockets. I have to ask, too, is, it, is the civil lawsuit a negligent thing? Is this like he was negligent about it? And now that the FBI is involved, could jail time be a possible thing here, Mark? Because you're talking about a criminal charge Okay. Now. First question first, it's definitely a civil thing. And what it is is a premises liability case. You invited everybody who bought a ticket to your venue. You owe them a duty to protect every single one of those attendees against foreseeable risks. A crowd surge is a foreseeable risk. Mm. It happened before, it will happen again. What did you guys do about it? And criminally, where the burden of proof is much higher, See, in a civil lawsuit, it's only 51%, preponderance of the evidence. Criminal cases, proof beyond it to the exclusion of every reasonable doubt, much higher burden. I think it's going to require recklessness. 
And I don't know if that's there. It really does depend on the facts. Mark, can I just ask you this really quickly? I'm sorry, Sam. I just didn't understand why the fire marshal was able to go on television. It seems like launched the first silo in terms of the, uh, the court of public opinion. He was like, yeah, everybody there uh, may have been, uh, you know, culpable with some responsibility. But I'm like, he didn't mention the fire department. I've been at a lot of concerts, a lot of nightclubs that have been shut down, a lot of house parties that were really rocking until the fire department showed up. So why is it now they're no, no longer their responsibility and now it's, Travis, it's on Travis Scott? Well, look, you know how it works. The highest profile cases, everybody's going to be pointing fingers and wanting to show blame. If you can get out in front of it and say you're not responsible, either because you're not or because you just want to look like you're not, right. then you're going to do it. And by the way, the only good news in this is that Jeff is safe because crowd surges usually don't happen at Barry Manilow concerts. <laughs> oh! I was wondering that's, how that's, you were going to swing that's that. Jay, that's Jason Mraz. Oh. 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 Hey, he's a Jason Mraz guy, it. too. Yeah. Oh, I said it. I said I, it. I am. Hey, I, am. I was going to stay quiet yeah. on this one, Mark. Yeah. You brought me in. <laughs> you called down the thunder. No, I got nothing. Mark's got, or Sam's got a question. Wow. Well, I just think, listen, Mark, because there's a, and listen, I do have empathy for everybody in this situation, but I tend to agree with Tori that there has to be some culpability with with Travis Scott. It's his production, right? We know the Astro World is his. He has a history of inciting his fan base to push down those barricades. I know that Al would say something like, well, this happens all the time at punk rock shows. That's actually it's not true. It's the basis of punk that rock. That is not is true. Break, is I have, that is not Go true. against the system? But safety is important at punk rock shows. I have been to easily 200 punk shows. That's all I did every Thursday and Saturday night from age 14 to probably 28 years old. Every single time someone fell in a mosh pit or was crowd surfing or if a woman or a teenager was assaulted which did happen you would see the lead singer from Kurt Cobain to any singer Slayer Metallica whoever it may be say stop it did that girl just get assaulted kick that guy out or stop it get up there was a there's a culture there and there's a culture at hip-hop shows right. too I've seen it at Wu-Tang I, I yeah, definitely but this is, different. But this is this 50 thousand people Sam you cannot ask one human being to to to, to police over 50 thousand people a professional duty to keep those 50 thousand people People say they shouldn't have been in there to begin with. Well, then that's they, a problem. That's on the fire marshal or whoever opened the gates so to let them in. So he's free of all problems, Travis Scott? Yes, Scott? he's just the entertainer. It'd be like if there was a fist fight at a wedding. And, and you don't me, blame the let band. Let me add one thing. Yeah, get in there, Mark. Get let in. Let me add one thing. Here's, here's the thing. I love healthy debates. It's fabulous, <laughs> and you guys are amazing. <laughs> what we don't know are these little pesky things called the facts. While extremely unlikely, maybe Travis Scott said, look, and I, I don't think that this happened, but let's say he had a discussion with promoters and said, listen, how will you be keeping people safe? And he's like, don't worry. You just worry about your part. We got this. Well, we don't know that that happened, but if there were facts like that that seem to suggest that he's concerned and or promoters are going to be responsible for that and his job is just to do a kick-ass show, well, then, well, wait a second. Then the debate changes a little bit. Right. So we just don't know what the facts are. Right? All right. right. We'll have to continue to follow this, Mark. We thank, thank you, you for bro. joining thank you, us. We thank you for the dig against Jeff. Be well. For more information on Mark and his law firm, go to speaktomark.com. We will be right back.